So this morning I have more on my mind, which you shall soon realize just how much I have on my mind because I'm constantly thinking and imagining because I'm a creative woman and highly imaginative. And I am realizing that as I limit relationship in my life, or maybe the reason behind my limiting certain relationships in my life, or even friendships when I find that people want to spend time with me or draw on my life, and I offer them some time or friendship or interaction in some way. And mostly I often want to share Christ with them when I see gaps in their life or when they are attracted to aspects of me that come from my relationship with Christ that I want them to own for themselves so that they're not seeing me as their source, their ultimate source. And one thing that I find very interesting is how they want me, but not Jesus, which the things that they want about me have everything to do with Jesus and they can have for themselves. For example, you know, if a person is thirsty and they need a glass of water, say you can kind of go to your sink or your refrigerator and pour them a glass of water, which will be satisfying and and quench a level of thirst, right? But in the alternative, they can have more than one glass of water. They can have their whole, their own like reservoir to draw from if they develop their own relationship with Christ instead of coming to you for one glass or a, cla- or a glass that you constantly have to pour them. They can actually pour unlimited glasses for themselves by having a relationship of their very own. But some of these friends want to continue to sort of draw on my life and have a glass of water without advancing and moving beyond a glass of water, which I am a person that loves motivation and advancement. So I sometimes resent or am not willing to continue to pour them a glass of water if they're not willing to develop their own water source because I don't like people to depend on me. I want them to develop an independence or a a dependence on Christ so that they won't run into so many limits or so that they won't think that my life is theirs to draw on for their fulfillment because I have things to do with my time um, other than be with people, which one would think that that's what we're for. But I like to be by myself a lot and I like to write and I like to be creative and I like to read and be with the Lord myself in study or preparation for the things that he's calling me to do in my life. It's not that I don't want to uh, love people, but I have priorities. And I want to be sure that all of my time is used Uh, constructively and that I'm initiating the right relationships and those that are developmental where the people are growing and becoming responsible for their own God life for the very things that they seek me for because those things that they seek me for are things that I have found in God And they can have it too, 